I had glimpsed our future guardian. And what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire. And in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Welcome back Guardians. In today's Destiny 2 lore episode, I want to talk about Lakshmi 2, the leader of Future War Cult, and specifically I want to talk about her visions of the future. There is a new lore tab that strongly hints at Future War Cult's network being corrupted by Savathun. If their network has been corrupted, it is possible that Lakshmi 2 has been influenced by Savathun, and her visions of the future are false and a deliberate attempt by Savathun to cause havoc in the city. So stick around and let me explain. Before starting, I want to say a big thanks to a non-pig who told me about this theory. He is very knowledgeable about Destiny lore. I highly suggest you follow him over on Twitter and tune into his lore podcast, The Loose Cannon Show. I'll leave links below. I live stream over on Twitch every day, so depending on when you watch this, I might be live right now. I'll also link that below. And with that, let's begin this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. In my previous video, I discussed Courier Blade Transform, which can be seen in the opening mission of Season of the Splicer. As far as we know, this Vex mind is under the control of Savathun. This video will further support that Savathun is already attacking the city from the shadows. Let me start by giving you the background information you need for this theory. The first is a basic understanding of the Future War Cult device. This lore dates way back to Destiny 1, and essentially, the whole premise around Future War Cult is that they established a faction that primarily focused on gaining visions of the future, and that many of these visions of the future were clouded in darkness and devastation, hence Future War Cult. The visions they had of the future was achieved with a piece of technology only referred to as the device. During the early testing of the device, people often went insane from what they saw in the future. Have a listen to the Destiny 1 Grimoire card, Ghost Fragment, Future War Cult. It reads, At 11.33, she reported the sensation we have called the opening of the veil. The device recorded temporal displacement of her consciousness to the order of six degrees. At seven, she began screaming, brain scans near death removed from the device at 11.34. She believes without question that the device granted her a vision of the future and that it was one of utter darkness. She thanked me for this enlightenment. She says it will make her stronger. 47 human subjects, 11 report timelines in which the darkness has already prevailed. 13 report timelines in which the city has fallen. 23 babbled madness, hopeless, trapped. Interestingly, the end of the Ghost Fragment Future War Cult Grimoire card actually says that the device was abandoned. Have a listen, it reads, No wonder the device was abandoned. The human mind is too weak for it, too weak to look into the future or to understand what it sees. So you may ask, well, why do they still use the device? Well, a solution to using the device is likely multiple things. As far as I'm aware, it's not fully explained. However, they do mention mind forking, which may assist. And also, I suspect Exo Minds were more resilient to using the device, hence why Lakshmi 2 can use it. In the new lore, we actually get a decent description of what the device looks like, which is actually how I've always imagined it. It sounds a bit like a VR headset linked into some huge supercomputer Vex tech. Have a listen to Chapter 6, Understanding, from the lore book Beneath the Endless Night, where Akora Ray goes to speak with Lakshmi 2, who is currently using the device. It reads, Akora Ray strode into the Future War Cult headquarters. It had the air of a church, hushed and reverent, but the air of sanctity was undercut by the intrusion of Vex technology. Wires climbed like vines across the ceiling and the air was filled with the faint smell of ozone. In the middle of the room, reclining on a seat reminiscent of both throne and operating table, was Lakshmi too. Her face was obscured by a helmet that connected to the mess of wiring above. Right, I promise I'm getting to the new lore 
very soon that hints at Lakshmi 2 being corrupted. But for now, you understand the device. We know Lakshmi 2 has been using the device. Now let's take a look at what Lakshmi 2 has been seeing in the future. The best descriptions of her vision actually comes from the in-game dialogue in the helm. Have a listen. Hmm. When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secured location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi too of the future war cult, and I'm here to offer my assistance, because you need it quite badly. The future war cult has long used Vex-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future. Guardian, and what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The Vanguard would rather protect its image than its people. And so, I will handle things myself. We can change this future. Stop it from happening. While I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well... When I foresaw the Red War, they laughed, until Gaul bound the Traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. So after you finish listening to the dialogue, you also get text on screen, which further describes Lakshmi's visions. Specifically, it names Mithrax. Have a listen, it reads, Lakshmi 2, leader of the Future War Cult, tells you that she looked into the future with Future War Cult's mind-forking machine and saw Mithrax standing in the city amidst gunfire and smoke. Right, so Lakshmi 2 believes Mithrax and the fallen we are assisting will betray us or at the very least bring destruction upon us. If you have read the new lore book, you will know this leads to a much bigger plotline, which I'm not going to quite cover right now. However, just know that Lakshmi is very vocal about the fallen being in the city because of these visions and she believes this will lead to the city's destruction and she's trying to convince leaders outside of the vanguard like same 14 that it's not a good idea to shelter the fallen in the city. So now let's get to the reveal. Let me show you the new Lord tab for the deicide. It reads, believe in war and nothing else. Lakshmi 2, encoded private ping via HDN proxy router. Akora, I thought you'd want to see this. It presents a binary in our systems, but something is splicing hashes in. I pulled it from the tower's nexus ISO feed. It's all over Future War Cult's networks and elsewhere. The Lord tab then shows a bunch of binary code. The card then ends with, my guess is the lettering indicates some kind of audible tone code pattern, but I haven't listened to it. One of my subordinates has isolated minor pitch fluctuations represented here as hash. These are foreign elements to otherwise normal binary code. See attach report for archival information on binary code. You probably see where this is going. If you put the binary code into a text translator, you get this. A bunch of letters. C, E, F, D, B, D, E, A. What does that mean? Well, you may have guessed this as well. Those are the notes of Savathun's song. This suggests that Savathun has infiltrated Future War Cult and specifically, I would guess that Savathun has sabotaged the future War Cult device to encourage infighting, disagreement, civil unrest within the last city. 
in a later video, I will start to explain what Lakshmi 2 is doing because of her vision, and it will add more fuel to this fire. And this, I believe, is all part of Savathun's plan. Shax hums Savathun's song, Crow whistles Savathun's song, and now Savathun's song is within Future War Cult's system. It is pretty hard to deny that Savathun is already attacking the city in her own unique way. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the words Savathun song to represent how Savathun has influenced Lakshmi 2's visions of the future. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.